the Hulk remind X Men why he is the strongest one there is. I told y'all about that damn Hulk. Leave that Hulk alone now. You get torn apart. <clears throat> Hulk, take out the X Men. Tell you apart. Remember uh, how bad he beat <clears throat> Wolverine that time. Jesus, that was bad. He beat him so bad. Let's check it out. An incredible Hulk, one of the most powerful non-cosmic beings or heroes in the entire Marvel Universe. But what if he were to go against one of the most powerful groups in the entire Marvel Universe? Charles Xavier and the X-Men, which themselves have several Omega level mutants of incredible power. Well, let's find out. Now this story picks up and takes place during the World War Hulk storyline, a Marvel event in which Hulk comes back from a different planet after being sent off by the Planet Hulk. The team Hulk. which consists of Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Charles Xavier, Namor, Mr. Fantastic, and Black Bolt. And after sending the Hulk off, he accidentally got sent to a world world in which he had to fight from being a slave to eventually becoming the king of the planet. But then the ship he got sent on exploded, killing not only his people, but his city and even his wife. So Hulk Ooh, that's comes not back good. To Earth in a fit of Ooh, he's never experienced it Hulk is kind of like <clears throat> Think about it. Hulk is kind of like Broly before Broly. Yeah, <laughs> I thought about but when that stupid Frieza. Uh, look what he did! He killed your father. Then when Broly got even meaner. That was, that's what it made me think about. Killed this man. Oh boy, this is the Hulk with the um the metal thing on his arm. The uh the Planet Hulk <clears throat> beats you into oblivion, just like the real the regular Hulk. This new level of rage and anger comes a new level of power and he's out for revenge. The issue picks up in a flashback with Tony Stark talking to Charles Xavier, saying, hey, can you keep an eye on the enemy size of the Hulk? And with Xavier saying, the Hulk, why would he write you haven't heard? Sorry. He went on another rampage, one in Las Vegas. So read. Wait a minute, did Hulk, I mean, um, uh, what's name loses his abilities? Oh, so my, you, have, you haven't heard. Don't, 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 doesn't uh, Professor Xavier always know when something's off and he'll start doing like this, doing like this here? Well, nobody, not knowing what the hell's going on. Richards, the others and I decided he was too much of a threat to remain at large. So we took a vote, and only Namor disagreed. But we lured the Hulk into a spaceship and launched it towards Namor. a planet where he could no longer hurt anyone. But for some reason it never got there. And we've been trying ever since to determine where it is. With Xavier just saying, I see. But Tony being curious now, Charles, if you had been there, how would you have voted? Leaving the biggest overall question, as if Charles was there and voted no, Hulk's rage and revenge would be misplaced against the X-Men and Professor X. Moving over to current present day, we pick up at the Xavier Mansion where we see Beast training a new team of young mutants before suddenly they hear rumbling and look outside to see the Sentinels who the government or Office of National Emergency put them there to keep an eye on the mutants. But if they're being sent off, that means there's an issue of national security. So quickly, Beast decides to go to the TV and turn on the news, where he sees Hulk, who after beating Black Bolt on the moon, broadcasts a threat to the world, saying you have 24 hours to evacuate the city, New York. And when I return, I want to see Mr. Fantastic, Iron Man, and Doctor Strange. And if they're not here, I'll do this, showcasing his destruction to your whole stinking planet. And as Beast scrambles to call in reinforcements, suddenly there's another thoom. And as Beast jumps to look outside the window, he sees the Incredible Hulk himself there, saying nothing more than Xavier. I want Xavier now. So with him quickly hopping back down, telling the rest of the students some instructions, telling one of them to alert the professor about what's happening and to get everyone to safety, but also putting together some of the mutants with stronger abilities to help fend off the Hulk, saying how this building houses one quarter of the mutants left on Earth. We're not fighting for fun or to prove who's stronger or even mm -hmm. to bring justice ain't no fun to fight. Villain, but we're fighting to prevent genocide on the mutant mm -hmm. race. I'll first try to talk to him, but the Hulk's never been one for talking. So we need a plan. He ain't trying to talk. The rest of the students who are not full-fledged X-Men yet already willing to defend their own. So with the rest of the students hidden, Beast opens the door, saying, Hello, Hulk. What? Xavier. 
bring him here. You know I can't do that. And with Hulk saying, I'm the way then, I'll find him myself. I'm afraid I can't do that either. For Hulk literally backhands him away, mm. saying wasn't asking. As right now, Hulk has a mission, and he's not going to let anyone stand in the way. So right now, the first fight of many gets started. As those students in training start to gang up on Hulk, saying hit him hard. As Hulk now, who originally doesn't want any problems with any other people except Xavier, says Beast, you have two seconds to call off these kids, or what happens to them is on you. As they are successful in at least momentarily slowing the Hulk down, who is holding back to not hurt them right away. But while they're distracting him, the Beast goes to get a trump card, a mutant with some sort of death touch, and with the Hulk who's had enough, says time's up, before he finally starts to fight back against the students, effortlessly beating them. But with Beast now here, he jumps in front of the Hulk, letting the mutant get his hands on Hulk, activating his death touch. But as you can see, it doesn't kill the Hulk, it only stripped away his healing factor. With Beast saying, you may want to rethink this Hulk, do you understand what we just did? And the Hulk saying, yeah, you've only made me matter. And while the Hulk's healing factor isn't on the same level of, say, the pool of Wolverines, it's pretty darn close. Especially current Hulk, who's able to regenerate from literal pieces and be fine. But with Hulk's healing factor temporarily gone right now, he's the most vulnerable he's ever going to be so they all decide to rush him and attack but hulk after tearing off a statue says stupid humans don't need my healing factor to beat these punks as you see a montage of him taking out various mutants with different abilities try focusing with ruptured eardrums as he thunderclaps you see someone who can control sand as hulk breaks a pipe from underneath spraying her and then we see another mutant who's just a typical brawler try to attack hulk but hulk seemingly knows this person and his abilities mm. saying you're the one who can control his body when it's in pieces right quick question can you still control them when they're all the way in connecticut before mm. literally tearing his limbs off tossing them up mm. and turning to the rest of the mutant saying come on who gets crippled next and the next mutant we see try to challenge the Hulk is none other than X-23. That is the roughest thing you seen. That man said, who wants to get crippled next? Leave this Hulk, leave him alone now. Now, now uh, 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 baby Wolverine, you get out of there before you get hurt. The daughter slash clone of Wolverine. And as she lunges at the Hulk, he effortlessly grabs her, saying, who are you, Wolverine sidekick? You're a couple claws short. But with Laura saying no, I'm not, before activating her foot claw, slashing Hulk across the eyes, mm. essentially blinding him for now, as he still doesn't have access to his healing factor. And with this, they see he's hurt, so they decide to all jump him and hit him hard. So they all attack at once, ranging from fist, claws, to even energy blasts. But everyone then gets knocked back by one punch from the Hulk, before grabbing X-23, Lifting her up and saying, nice try, but my eyes just grew back. Whatever the gold pit did, eyes wore off, back. and he's not going to do it again. And as for this one, we better hope she heals like Wolverine too, before throwing her through the mansion, taking her out of the fight. Damn. Afterwards, he walks towards Beast and the mutant that has the death touch, saying, it didn't have to be like this. I just went to Xavier, but no one makes me weak. No one, never again. And as Hulk walks towards them, getting ready to slam on them, killing them, suddenly he gets attacked from behind. Yelling in pain, with the voice saying, You're real impressive beating on kids, bud, but it's grown up time. As we see Wolverine mm. and an A list team of real X -Men. arrive and join the fight. And with Hulk looking back, saying, This is the fight I expected, bring it on. But just then, before anybody can even get started, Xavier himself walks out. With him saying, I believe you said you're here for me. Now that I've seen my students to safety, Got your wish. With him then activating his power, saying, Yes, I know you're the strongest one there is, physically, but my power lies in another area, before trying to mentally assault the Hulk. But as he does, everyone on the battlefield starts holding their head in pain, as Xavier then thinks to himself, Impossible. Now, the Hulk's mind has always been unique, difficult to control, but I've never encountered anything like this the rage, like an elemental force, and the feedback is enveloping and going to everyone around us. As Hulk's mind is infected with so much rage, pain, and anger, Anger, that Xavier himself, an Omega level mutant, can't even get through, and instead is broadcasting his thoughts in recent past on him on the planet and everything that went wrong to everyone around them. And as the vision mm. ends for everybody, Beast is the first one to say something, saying, Hulk, I had no idea. And with Charles saying, Bruce, Reed and the others sent you into space. Yes, but that bomb that destroyed your city 
I could never imagine them doing such a thing. But I don't know. I wasn't with them when they planned their plans. But Hulk already knowing this, saying, yes, I know. But according to what I beat out of Black Bolt, you were supposed to be. You were one of the guys that decided was smart enough to play God. To decide what to do with me. Like I'm some type of rabbit dog. So I'm asking you a simple question. If you would have been there when they were debating whether to ruin my life, how would you have voted? Before the issue ends on this harboring question that would decide the fate of Professor X and the rest of the X-Men. But yeah, leaving you on this little cliffhanger. The comic is World War Hulk X-Men, if any of you guys want to read it yourselves. But yeah, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed, or even subscribe. Stay tuned for the next part and future videos. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, what? Hulk is nothing to play to be playing with, boy. Oh. The Rhino tried him. Uh, Juggernaut tried him. Uh, I think Apoc made him turn the bad guy for a little while. He had his hands, heard he had his hands full with Juggernaut for a minute, but still, leave this Hulk alone. He, oh boy. Then you got the other Hulk. Um, I call him the Old Man Hulk, the Maestro Hulk. Leave that alone. The Maestro Hulk was beating the piss out of the original Hulk. <laughs> but I, I didn't like that. But that, hey, it happened. Mm. This is Planet Hulk, though. Oh, boy. Take out the damn X-Men. Woo! Even if they was to do something like, uh, uh, lock him up somewhere and send him somewhere else, he, he still, he still find his way back. I'll never forget on the, um, on the Hulk series, uh, what did that guy say? Five or ten more minutes and he would have got loose. <laughs> he, he was just pounding that steel door open. Yeah. Oh, but damn. Oh, I love that Hulk, boy. Actually, I, I never got that Diamond Select figure of the um, Planet Hulk. I know it's high as hell now. If he is, he's going to stay right where he at. <clears throat> we already told you about these damn, some of these figs, but yeah. Let me know what y'all think about um, <clears throat> just your your favorite Hulk, <clears throat> or favorite Hulk moment. <clears throat> Leave a comment.